What's up guys, Mecha Ish here, and we got from TMNT, Out of the Shadows, we got Leo, Mikey, Don, and Rap, the Ninja Turtles themselves. Let's do it! Welcome back to another action figure review, and I don't just have one action figure, I got four toys for you guys today, and none other than Michelangelo, Raphael, Leonardo, and Donatello, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the upcoming Out of the Shadows movie, and I'm not the biggest fan of this new movie look of the Turtles, but I've been a huge fan of the Ninja Turtles for years, since they came out in the 80s, I absolutely love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I watch all their cartoons. I collect all their action figures and toys. So, yeah, I'm a big fan, and it's like family to me. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter how they look. I'm going to collect it, and I'm going to love them anyway. <laughs> now you can see they all share the same blister card packaging here with a great look and that window there of each figure individually. But let's take a look, starting with Michelangelo. You can see a great image of Mikey there, and I love the top right view of how he will appear in the movie. And you have Michelangelo, he's the party dude, he's the goofball, he looks like he's so much fun to be around. And we have Raphael next to him, who's kind of the opposite. <laughs> you have Raph, who's the tough guy of the group, he's the brooding type. And that's a great look at him from the movie, and also him in figure form. And we have the always focused, the leader, my favorite Ninja Turtle of all time, Leonardo. Looking awesome, ready to go, ready to attack some foot soldiers. And we have Donatello there, who of course is the tech guy of the bunch. And he's the one that creates all those gnarly inventions and vehicles for the turtles to fight crime. Now let's take a look at the back of the packaging here. You can see in the top right, the image of all four turtles together as they will appear in the movie. You have Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. New York City, an old menace returns. New mutations arise. The ultimate showdown approaches. Our heroes must rise up again to save the city they love, even if it means exposing themselves for who they truly are, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And as you can see right there in the top, as I scroll on down, you got the four figures which I will be reviewing. And then you have more figures, Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Raphael, and their special variants there have not come out yet. I will pick them up, and I will show a video as soon as they do. And... And the rest of the figures I do have, so please stay tuned. I have a lot of turtle videos coming your way. I should be working for the Shredder, because I'm always catching those turtles. Now I got all four brothers outside of their packaging. And I got to tell you, this is actually growing on me. Their new look here, it's definitely upgraded from the first movie. And it is growing on me. And I just love, you know, holding them, having them in hand, articulating them. They feel great. You know, I love these basic figures. And the, the scale here, you see Mikey, the shortest of the bunch, all the way to Donatello in height. You got Mikey at maybe a little over four inches, where Donnie's just a little under five inches because he's the tall, lankier one of the bunch. And just look how hulking Raphael looks. You know, he is definitely the bodybuilder, <laughs> the big dude of the bunch. And Leo is just the all-around, more balanced uh, turtle here. You can see the slight variations in colors. It's not as prominent. Like, I would say... Donatello is definitely the darker maybe him and Raphael a little bit darker than Mike and Leo but it's not as prominent like if you would see in the uh, Nickelodeon basic figures so slight variations in color there but they really uh, I'm really digging this upgraded look now let's talk about Michelangelo the party dude and I love Mikey here and you know he's the smallest the more playful of the turtles and you know I love how each figure as you see as I go through them individually, and as you see, not just in scale, how Mikey's the smallest, so Donnie being the tallest, they all have their different builds, they all have their different sculpts, and they, you know, like, Raph is huge, and they all have uh, all these extra accessories here and there, so it's not just a repaint of the same mold over and over and over, which is much appreciated. Another thing I appreciate is that the skin of the turtles, you can see they have texture and they have the scale sculpted in, their green skin here they are reptilian so it's great that you have that because it definitely feels different than other action figures where it's not just a smooth green plastic you know it's it's actually sculpted and detailed which is fantastic yeah there you go look at his shoulder there you can see the sculpted detail i feel like a reptile with my cracked hands over here sorry about that <laughs> i'm shedding but um yeah so we have michelangelo and he looks awesome and you can see the paint apps on him are great. 
Uh, he has the soft plastic throughout, you know, his articulation, which I'm going to get to when I get to Donnie. But his articulation is somewhat hindered here. You can see he got a ball hinge there, which isn't painted. The joints are not painted at all, but that's okay. You know, his, his um, little shirt that's tucked in there prevents most of his articulation. He does get a little bit here and there. But overall, great look for Mikey. You know, like I said, upgraded from the first movie. I dig it. I love the straps. I love the sculpt work. I love his little sneakers. <laughs> so very cool. And of course, he comes with his nunchucks, right? He comes with two nunchucks that go in his hands, as you saw before. And they also go into these little slots here on each side of his backpack. So not they, they don't look, you know, they don't fit perfectly in because there's only one hole to hold uh, the nunchuck and they don't really bend that well. You see that? I don't want to snap the plastic, but... So that looks kind of weird. So I will not be displaying Mikey like that. I will absolutely be putting the nunchucks on Michelangelo in his hands so he can kick some foot soldier bootay. And he also comes with this skateboard. So great looking skateboard with, uh, let me see, do the wheels actually move? They do. It You know, so they we do have movement here at the wheels, which is cool. And he has these big peg holes at the feet. So I'm just going to plug them on. And I love that they added these accessories. Of course, it's not really painted. Nothing's painted here, but I still dig it. And, you know, Michelangelo's always goofing around in the sewers with his skateboard. And that's Michelangelo. Now we have Leonardo here, my favorite Ninja Turtle, the leader of the turtles. And he looks great, man. This is a great sculpt. You got an upgraded look from the first movie. And the paint apps are really doing it for me. They have here... You can see the blue bandana, which matches his waistband. Everything is nice and clean. You got his uh, katana sheaths in the back, which don't come off. I can't wiggle them out. I can't pull them out. I do not want to force too much and pop them off or break anything, but they appear to be stuck in his shell uh, very well. And that shell, speaking of which, is nicely sculpted. I love the brown paint on the shell. And uh, back to his sheaths here, you can see his katana blades come out nice and easy. And they do slide in. To his hands easily enough and uh you know what i love about this like i said the paint apps his forearm straps his uh calf and shin straps here his knee pads everything is painted everything is painted nice and clean his sandals even the brown straps on his sandals are painted so good job with my boy leonardo looking awesome and that that face sculpt he's always about the mission and you can see that in that face sculpt there of leo well done. Let's talk about the big bad Raphael. You know, the brooding type of the turtles. And he is, in the movie, he is the bulkier, more built, bodybuilder-like turtle of the bunch. He is definitely more massive and wider. He's a heavier, a little bit heavier hunk of plastic than, say, um, you know, Leonardo. And especially Donatello. Let's just put a little side, side by side so you can see what I'm talking about. See, Donnie is supposed to be long and lanky, where Raphael is wide and stocky. And just look at the feet. Look at the difference in the feet. Raph has some huge wide feet. So just to show you what kind of character Raph is in the movie, he's a big hulking turtle. And looks cool, man. I mean, definitely upgraded. I love this shoulder armor here. This nice rubbery plastic, which does not hinder articulation at all. As you can see, it, it goes up very well. And I like the straps. I like the paint apps on his uh, mask bandana thingy going on there. And he still has his, the, I guess, a t-shirt wrapped around his waist like he's ever going to fit a t-shirt around that big shell. Now, he has these weird clips in the back here, which I believe are for his size. It would make more sense. I wish they were just painted maybe the same color as the pants, right? Because it's painted green. So you can see it was molded all in green first and then they painted over it. But um, let me just show you. I'm going to take off his size, which are unpainted, by the way. He has unpainted silver size and they just slide right in there which easy which is easy access for uh rafael there right where if you put it back here it doesn't really make too much sense they're not katana katanas like leonardo so he's not going to be these are short blades he's not going to be able to reach back there with all these his muscles and his gigantic shell to really get his size out so it would make more sense for the size to go down here yeah so he can just reach for them, slide in, 
cause some damage. Now he also has, like I said, you with the black straps here, which are painted well, and this well, it's not actually painted. It's just a black plastic plugged into his brown shell, which is sculpted very nice. But he has these these two extra accessories here, and they look for rock climbing. So I guess we'll have to see the movie to see if he does any rock climbing or or grappling. But you see what I'm saying? They, and these are also in that silver plastic, not really painted. Not painted at all, but they appear to be for uh, climbing to higher surfaces, and they have some storage here. Well, you see, it's kind of hard to see with his dark brown shell and the dark black, but you can see those clips right there, right, on the shell. So, I believe this is for storage for these pieces. So, one goes there, and, and the good thing about these clips here, they're very soft, rubbery plastic. They're not stiff, so you're not going to crack the plastic, and they do hold these very well. So very cool. I mean, I'm I'm just loving the look of of Raph here. I like the the armor pieces he has on his forearm, his bicep strap. Again, I love that, and he's still rocking the goofy shorts and the t-shirt. But at least they painted his brown straps around his calves and his shins. It looks cool. I ain't complaining here, that's Raphael. And let's talk about Donnie here, the tech wizard of the group. And uh, as you can see here, he is all teched out. He has these headsets that are removable, unpainted, silver plastic headsets. Yeah, see, unpainted. But it does have a peg which goes right into his backpack, which is nicely embedded into his shell. And you see the peg hole right there, just plug it right there. And that's always great when you can have storage for all the accessories of these figures. That's always a welcome addition, right? And then he has the nicely sculpted, uh, he already has a visor. So he got too many things. He has glasses, he has a visor, and then he puts headsets on. A lot of things on your head, Donnie. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he, as I showed you with um, Raphael and the rest of the gang, he is the taller, slimmer turtle of the bunch. So you can see that right here. He's not as bulky, and but it's a good, a very good looking sculpt. I love that it's a different sculpt. He has actually pants, <laughs> a turtle with pants. The other guys are rocking shorts, but um, this Donnie actually has, looks like a military style cargo pants here, which is pretty cool. You can see the silver buckle there. Um, he has his straps, which are painted in that gunmetal gray. I mean, the, the knee pads, so very cool. Of course, he, of course, Donnie would find some purple straps to wrap around his leg. And he actually has boots. I like these uh, combat boots he's wearing. And the dark green combat boots. Very nice. I mean, I'm digging this look for Donnie. He got all these little accessories. He also comes, of course, with his unpainted bow staff. Now, you know, the traditional Donatello has the bow staff, which is brown. But here he has this silver unpainted bow, stra bow staff. And that's his handle that fits in his hand easily enough. And then it looks like a cattle prod. At the end of it, so it's most likely something to um, you know electrocute the enemy. So we'll see in the movie, but that's cool. At least he got a you know similar to his weapon of choice, and then he also has his unpainted drone. Now it looks like this is for reconnaissance. He'll toss this up in the air or roll it on the ground, whatever Donnie wants to do. Get all the info on the bad guys and take it back to headquarters. But so pretty cool, unpainted, rubbery plastic there. So no real details going on there. Little camera. Yeah, so at least he comes with nice accessories, and I don't think this store is anywhere, so I'm going to put that off to the side. But uh, yeah, Donnie's a very cool looking figure. You know, for Donatello, you got the paint apps look on point. Uh, a little, you know, this is what Playmates does most of the time with their other figures. Well, you can see the sculpted detail on his arm, right? You see that whatever that is underneath the straps, but his straps are painted and his skin tone. So there's no actual paint applied over that sculpt, and that's a little annoying. So, you know, but I, you see that a lot with these Playmate toys. But that seems to be the only point, really, uh, where Donnie is not painted. You know, and this is just a sculpted black. It doesn't really need to be painted. It would be nice if it is, but I'm, I'm not, you know, too upset about that. I wanted to discuss articulation with you guys. Now, they all have the same points of articulation. All four turtles, even with the different builds. Um, some figures, because of their articles of clothing hinder the range of movement so i just wanted to run down the articulation using donnie here who's not too impeded by his clothes you have a ball joint at the head which can go right can go left and you see how easily removable that head is so just be careful uh too much force it can pop off but it's not bad it pops on 
nice and easily enough. Okay, so left and right movement. There's no ab crunch, no waist swivel there. We do have a hinge at the shoulder, which is great. A lot of range of movement there. Rotate 360 degrees. We have a single jointed elbow, which extends nicely. And there is rotation at the elbow. And we just have a rotation here at the wrist. Now going on down to the hips, you have a nice hinge there, which can kick up like that. And you can just rotate it here to the left when you want side kicking action. So that's great. And we have a single jointed knee, which also has rotation. All right. So, you know, not the most articulated figure, but you can still get the turtles in some cool looking poses. There you have it. Michelangelo, Donatello, Leonardo, Raphael, the way they're going to be showing up in the TMNT out of the shadows movie that comes out in a few months. And I had a lot of fun reviewing these figures, guys. You know, definitely upgraded look from the first movie. I'm kind of digging it, especially Donatello. Look how cool he looks up there up front. <laughs> it looks pretty awesome for Donnie, right? And, uh, you know, th this was a lot of fun. The articulation is what it is, but you can see you can get him in some decent poses, and they do look awesome together, as usual. Um, so, guys, I definitely recommend these figures, especially if you're a fan of the Playmates Basic. Make sure you guys subscribe. I got a ton more Ninja Turtles, especially Out of the Shadows. I got some basic. I got some Dimension X. I got a lot of videos coming up. So subscribe so you don't miss out on a video. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. You know what to do. Peace.